my channel. My name's Caitlin and I'm on a journey to lose 25 pounds. I'm really glad that you guys are here with me. All of your views and your comments and just the interaction on my channel, that stuff really helps me out. If you want to jump ahead to the weigh-in, I will put the timestamp right here. Otherwise, we are jumping right into lunchtime. So I'm craving kind of an off lunch. I didn't show you guys breakfast because it was nothing special. Actually, I think I had leftover white chicken chili for breakfast. So, but anyway, I want some ranch dip and I'm gonna have celery, this cucumber, and some carrots with my ranch dip. And then I'm gonna eat this yogurt that I've been showing you guys. I love the yogurt. So that's what I'm doing. And then later on, we're gonna be making stuffed peppers. So, all of my veggies are frozen everything in my fridge froze i turned down the temperature but i don't know why it just decided all of a sudden that, that was too cold it's probably breaking but my carrots are frozen If you're me, I don't like the cucumber in the ranch, but I still like to eat the cucumber with salt and pepper. So this is my little mini lunch just to hold me over until um, I make my stuffed peppers when Brandon gets home. All right, we're gonna go ahead and make our stuffed peppers. This is the stuff that I'm gonna be using, but stuffed peppers are super versatile and you can put basically anything you want in there. We're gonna go ahead and get them cut into halves. We're gonna empty them out. And if you like your peppers to be a little softer, then you can go ahead and preheat your oven to 400 at this point. And then pretty much as soon as they're halved, give them a light spray with some cooking oil and put them in the oven to basically cook while you're cooking the stuffing. Here they are, ready to go into the oven for a little bit while I make the stuffing. All right, here they are, they're all finished. We are gonna have a couple right now and then Brandon will save some for his lunch tomorrow. So. So I was taking the trash out and I see here evidence of a small stray kitty stomping around my property. So I need to find that little guy. All right, let's just have a look here. This is my driveway. I'll walk up and show you my car is still buried. Brandon's, one of his trucks is behind my car. But yeah, when I say I live down in a holler, I mean, you know, I gotta climb this mountain to get out. But let me get a little closer. It kind of sucks because I asked Brandon if he thought I could get out to go get groceries and he sent me a video of him trying to get out in his four wheel drive truck and he struggled. So I know darn well that my car isn't going up this driveway. I just hope everybody that prayed for this snow is happy now. I am not one of the people that did pray for this. So nobody blame me. 
but I am blaming you. I hope you guys are friggin' happy. I hope you enjoyed it. So upon really getting out here and trying to dig my car out, I realized that I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I am not going anywhere. It do be nice out here though. Beautiful wide open sky. It looks even better from the front. This is the side. There's a chicken coop up the hill, but we don't have any chickens in it yet. And we probably won't get many chickens while we're living here. This is a rental. Okay, friends. So I've been seeing some girls on Instagram who are doing Fit Girls Guide. They do a daily, they do a photo challenge. I don't know if anybody knows about Fit Girls Guide, but anyway, they're all posting their goal outfits. These are my goal britches. I one time had these on. Don't mind my dirty mirror. I'm a... I'm a human being and that's the best I can say. So these are the gold britches. I'm about to try them on and see if they'll get on my body. I have had them on before, um, probably four years ago. And that was the last time I was the closest to my goal weight, which by the way, I don't know if I've ever said this, my goal weight is 130 pounds. So that's 20 pounds total that I'm, well, it's actually 26 pounds total that I'm losing. So. Let's try to put on these pants and see how close we are. I'm scared, actually. <laughs> so I checked the size before I put them on. They are five sixes. They are not going on. <laughs> Maybe they will later, we'll see. And then I can show you with my actual pants on. That would be better. But these are the gold britches. Here's my evening snack. And I ate this while I watched Brandon play uh, Luigi's Mansion 3. I love watching him play that game. And also Sarah says goodnight. <laughs> water these little babies this one here is struggling and it's been struggling for I mean actual years and it looked like it wanted to come back and then my poor you know houseplant skills ironically enough um, ruined it this guy needs an actual pot this fern is from my sister quite frankly oh my god I should stop recording this because you guys are seeing me be trash <laughs> I'm spilling it everywhere. Normally, I wouldn't keep a fern because they I have made them very crispy before, but I'm doing my best. I love my plants and I want them to live. It's alive still. And then my spider plant, who is so resilient, and he's doing great, took him as a baby from his grandmother. Oops. None of that made any sense. I was basically trying to say that this plant grew from a little cutlet. <laughs> and here's Bo wondering where that water is coming from. So good late morning. It's 11.27. I'm finally going to have some breakfast. I'm making egg bites in this muffin tin. You can put like anything you want in your egg bites, but this is what I'm doing. Spinach, tomato, mushroom. I'm going to slice some of this sad little avocado for the top using the rest of this pepper jack cheese. And then I'm also going to fry up some air fried Parmesan potatoes. Um, you, you dice the potato, boil that, and then you air fry it. Okay, friends, so first things first for these Parmesan potatoes, I'm only going to cook one because I know that if I cook more, I will eat them all. They are so delicious. Anyway, go wash your potato. All right, so your potato is washed. Let's dice that little baby. And you take this out of your way. This is about the size I'm going for. So you're gonna put these into a little pot of water and you're gonna boil them until you can stick a fork in them. So while that's going, I'm going to chop up all the vegetables that I need for the, or that I'm gonna put in my egg bites.
potatoes are boiling. The oven is preheating. I'm gonna grease my little muffin tin and I've got the oven on 350. The vegetables are ready to go into the bowl. I'm gonna put them in with the veggies, a little bit of cheese, the seasonings right here. Those are also going on the potatoes and some egg. Oh. Okay, here's the egg bites. They are about to go in, and then I'm gonna show you how to prep these potatoes as well. Basically, we're just gonna drain them, and then we're gonna toss them in our seasonings and the Parmesan cheese, and then we're gonna air fry them until they're crispy. I don't know the exact measurements, but I'm gonna probably do like 350 for about eight minutes first, and then just check it and see where we are. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do the potatoes now that the Little bites are in the oven, so here's my potatoes. So my seasonings, garlic powder. I'm doing Italian. We're doing salt and pepper because duh, always. Actually, I might skip the salt because um, I'm doing the cheese. Somebody just texted me. Okay, Parmesan cheese goes in. Yes, delicious, it's so good. I've only made this one other time, but both me and Brandon loved it. So I'm gonna give it a light spray with some cooking oil. Um, my boyfriend says I use too much oil. What can I do? I don't know. I want it to be crispy. So it's going in, it's on 350. Like I said, I'm gonna set it on eight and see where that gets us. I'll show you in a minute. All right, so here they are. Don't they look so pretty? I'm excited to eat them. Right, so here is breakfast. I'm super excited. I'm gonna use some hot sauce and avocado on my little egg bites here. And I got some water. I also have a Diet Pepsi, it's down there. But yeah, I'm most excited about these potatoes. They're so crispy. We had to go get groceries and I was craving iced coffee and I also got french fries, but we did get the groceries and then I want to show you like the view coming down our driveway. There's a lot of ice on Brandon's truck, so I'm sorry, but if you look on the left, you're going to see this goose that we came up on. I had to get out and get it. So we made it back. It was so scary leaving. It was so scary. The truck spun everywhere up the driveway. I'm just so grateful that it made it out at all. And I'm super happy that we got some groceries to get us by. I'm gonna show you what we got. So of course my yogurts that I'm obsessed with, these are the ones Brandon picked out. I guess he wanted them because they have more protein. So that's an option if you like extra protein. These are for some egg bites we're doing, pepperoni bites. We're having um, cheeseburger egg rolls. So that's what this is for, some dip, ranch dip. I'm having oats this week, a couple of vegetables for sides, onions, eggs. We're having buffalo taquitos, taquitos. I'm sorry, I'm very uncultured. My rice cakes and marshmallow cream that I'm obsessed with. Some nuts to go on my oats too cod hamburger meat that's mostly for brandon and then i've got chicken and turkey coffee so yeah little grocery haul we're doing booby okay a little update the tv is reflecting in my glasses and i'm whispering but this is gonna be fast it just has to be made known for the video i had like the worst binge ever last night like the kind where you just don't stop Nothing makes you stop. You kind of just lean into it. You start eating grody shit. I ate a whole, like, 15 gumballs. Okay. <laughs> and that is not all of it. I ate and ate and ate and ate and ate. Anyway, the point is, I'm waking up feeling very sick this morning. I'm really super grody. I weighed in three pounds heavier than I did yesterday. Not a big deal, I know. I'm just one of those people that tracks that kind of thing. I just like to know what happens when whatever, whatever. So, anyway, on record... Major binge, weighed in real heavy, so we'll see what happens by Monday. It's Friday. This is what I'm using to make my oats this morning. Here's breakfast for the day. Got my water, my coffee. I don't really like the coffee, but I'm just working through it. Let me show you. I got this new one. 
and it's super dark and it warns you that it is, but I don't know, maybe I just have to get used to it. The workout of the day is from Ultimate MMA Plus YouTube channel. I've been doing total body for the whole time that I've been attempting to learn weightlifting, but I think that it's smarter for me to get into splits and the proper ways to split workouts. So going into next week, I'm gonna at least give it arms on one day, legs on one day, and see where we go. So here's lunch. It's a buffalo wrap. If you want, I'll go ahead and list right here everything that's in it, and you can pause to read. I'll be waiting while you're not alone. So the adventure to get my car out was a very long one. It was seven days, and here is some of the drama of the car trials. You saw some in the beginning, but there, there was a good day and a half where we were working on the car. <laughs> so yeah that was fun but then we had to actually go and get some salt to put down on the ice to melt it So Brandon was able to drive my car out on Sunday. It was a whole week that it was stuck down here and now it's parked at the top of our road. And finally, here is my weigh-in. I only lost 0.6 this week, but we can't go hard all the time. I actually thought I was going to weigh in much heavier because pretty much after that binge earlier in the week, um, I just could not make that number go back down. People who weigh themselves every day know what I'm talking about, but it is discouraging. And that is why so many people don't weigh every day um, because it'll just like wreck your mood if you're not going the way that you thought it should. And even me knowing how my body normally reacts and me being so confident with, oh, I'm fine weighing every day, um, it totally ruined me that I had, after I binged, I put on like five pounds. No, not that, but it was like four pounds on the scale and it was crushing to me. And it took me forever to take it off when normally with a binge, it'll just fall right off. This did not, it stayed on. So then I was like, did I build muscle? Is my scale wrong? Like, dirt, dirt, dirt. Anyway, this is taking me forever and I'm rambling. The point is, I'm lucky to have lost anything. And uh, I'm grateful that I did. And if you guys like my comment, my, my content, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more of what I'm doing. My journeys, my successes, my failures, because there's so many of them. And yeah, I don't know. Leave a comment down below if you want to.